All right, good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Uh, bell work, get out your device and headphones. If you do not have one, please go get the device from the back of the room. All right, that should already be done. Now, what I need from you for this video lecture, obviously, is for you to be quiet. Um, eighth period, still rock stars. First, fifth, sixth got better. Third got a little bit better, but I need y'all to step it up. So hopefully we're step stepping it up right now. Um, but basically the most important video lecture we have seen this far, so this is our third one, this will be the most important. It'll also be the quickest. So I just need you to cooperate for a couple minutes here. And when it comes to your benchmark, for those of you who are new to Whitworth Buchanan, benchmark, all right, those are your end of quarter tests before you have the state test at the end of the year. They are worth more than every other thing you do. Okay, basically just to see what you've learned from beginning of August to right now. All right, so your benchmark again is on Monday, the 24th. I'm giving you a study guide, you should have already got that, and um, the answers to your study guide. So I'm doing it for you. Yes, your study guide is worth for a grade, so you need to hold on it for, uh, until today uh, and then until Monday, all right? So do not lose it. Make sure you are looking over it, study it. You will not be able to use on test. I will collect it right before on Monday. All right, so we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna go one through, I think there's 20 of them. Give you the answer. I'm not gonna talk about it at a time, just kind of read it. You all should be familiar with it already. And then it will look very similar to your study guide or to, to your real benchmark. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, number one, first blank. Again, I've already wrote uh, or highlighted in red what you're supposed to write. So Constantine, first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. All right, this is why he is significant. All right, next one, dark ages. If any time you need to pause, I'm not going to tell you to pause. Uh, I'm just going to kind of read on through. So if you want to write this down while I'm talking, that's fine. Or if you want to pause it, either way is good. All right, dark ages, fall of the Western Roman Empire marks the beginning of the dark ages. Uh, find the location of Constantinople, Constantinople, all right? So this is the one time you will see me in these videos, all right? So you're going to have this map in front of you on your test, Constantinople, all right? Again, do not put Rome. Rome is right here. That was the old capital. Remember, Constantine, he moved it to uh, Constantinople, which is right here. Hopefully, with the map that we did, we already know that, okay? So looking at this peninsula here, this is where you will find uh, Constantinople. All right, moving on. Roman or Latin alphabet, all right? Ancient alphabet forms the basis for the majority of modern languages in use today. Romance languages all trace back to Latin. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can pause at any time. All right, major contribution from Romans to Western European culture was government by laws. Christianity was a new religion that gained the support in the Roman Empire. Constantinople was a center for trade. Capital of Byzantine Empire, located a peninsula between Black Sea and Mediterranean Sea. All right, so make sure you are uh, refreshed up on Constantinople. All right, Justinian Code, set of laws that regulated the Byzantine society. Again, we talked the other day about how they were confusing beforehand. This sort of put them in order and... Uh, we use them in our constitution as well. All right, immediate causes of the Roman Empire, a period of disorder, chaos, and weak central government. City in the Byzantine Empire that Emperor Constantine changed to Constantinople. Center of trade is Byzantium. Reasons why the city of Constantinople thrived and became rich. Excellent location for trade between two continents, containing the Hagia Sophia and centered around a monarchy with the king. All right, this city was founded by the Roman Emperor Constantine. Again, you need to know a lot about Constantinople. Uh, between the Mediterranean and Black Seas, we just looked at that on the map and transferred the center of the imperial government there from Rome. It is Constantinople. All right, he was an Eastern or you know, Roman or Byzantine emperor from 527 until his death. We looked and made a poster of him. Um, yesterday, that is Justinian. All right, this is an inland body of water found to the north of modern-day Turkey and is connected to the Aegean Sea. By the Dardanelles, it is Black Sea. 
all right? Name of the laws that uh, were codified in the sixth century Byzantine Empire, Justinian Code, wife of Justinian, and major influence in the Byzantine Empire, Theodora. I believe all these are order, in order in your study guide. Uh, if not, you may have to do a little searching, but they should be close to in order. All right, church, which means holy wisdom, all right, is now a mosque in modern-day city of Istanbul. It is the Hagia Sophia. Four examples of Roman architecture. You drew four examples of these. It is arches, columns, domes, concrete. Name the city in the Byzantine Empire that Emperor Constantine changed to Constantinople. It is Byzantium. All right, so that is all. Uh, test is going to be about 24 questions. Make sure you know this. If you know this, you will get an A. All right, if you know the study guide up and down, promise you will get an A if you study it. If you know uh, only other things you need to look at are some maps, which we'll go over uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, make sure that you are prepared uh, for stations, which we're going to be starting on Thursday and Friday. Okay, Ms. Weller be, may be in class with us now. She may be in your class. She may not be. But we're going to talk about expectations for what these stations will look like. Make sure we're being respectful of her, respectful of me, and listening while we're talking so we can do this more often because I don't want to go back to the old way. So uh, your study guide should be filled out. If you are finished, just sit there quietly until everyone else is finished and me and or Miss Weller will continue. All right.